Hi, it's Miranda, and welcome back to Multiplicity Crafts. Now, I don't know about you, but with me, either I'm klutzy or this happens to a lot of us. You're inking up and inking up, and you get it on your finger inevitably, right? Or you drop your ink pad on your project. That's a disaster. And sometimes you even have ink on your finger and don't realize it and get it all over your cards. And also, I'm always fumbling with the ink pad. So I'm setting it where I don't really want it to go and it's in the way and I'm always doing something like that. Also, I don't know about you, but my wrist, turning it and inking it and turning it and inking it and turning it and inking it, ah, I feel like a rotisserie chicken, literally, on a grill. It's awful. My wrist is just rotating, rotating. No more. Now we're introducing the Multiplicity Crafts Ink Navigator Kit. That's right. This is my little invention, and I'm launching it today. This is the Ink Navigator Kit in all its glory with the handy dandy refill strips that you can purchase separately. So let me show you in depth what this little kit is all about. You'll get this ink navigator tool and it comes with the Velcro on the bottom, which I'll show you in a moment. And you get the ink docking station, which is for your ink to rest on in between inking and stamping. It's got rubber feet on the bottom and so it'll stay sturdy on your desk and no slipping and no falling off. It's also indented, so your ink pad will rest nicely inside. Now I'm using this random ink from scrapbook.com, but you can use any standard size ink pad. And what I'm going to do is pull the adhesive backer from the ink navigator tool, and that will reveal the sticky side. This is industrial strength adhesive underneath here. And you will just stick that to the bottom of any standard size ink pad. And yes, it does work on the oval ink pads. And all you have to do is pull the lid off and you have a nice handle for your ink so your fingers are far from the ink where they belong. Now you can see here there's some contour grips for your fingers to go and there's a little window cut in the middle if you prefer to hold it that way. You can also hold it towards the top or grip it like a handle on the top. It's just all up to you and your personal preference as to how it feels comfortable. This is lightweight, so it won't be cumbersome. Also, this handy ink rest is the perfect place to rest your tool and ink face down in between stamping. So you can see here on this stamp positioner that I'm just inking up this stamp and I'm just pressing down. This gives me wonderful leverage and great control and my fingers are nowhere near the ink. I'm not gonna drop the ink pad. I'm not going to get my fingers in the ink. Everything is so much more comfortable, let me tell you. And here I'm showing you how you can even grip it like a handle if you wish and stamp that way. You can also use it on acrylic blocks if you'd prefer to adhere your stamps that way or on wood block stamps. And I'm just showing you how simply you're done. No ink on your fingers, love it. Now, remember the example of the rotisserie chicken, right? We can never forget that. Look at this, I'm inking I'm inking and I'm going back and forth and just imagine this was like a stamp positioner where the hinge door and you close it, close it. My wrist is not rotating at all. Wonderful for those of us who have wrist issues or if you maybe have arthritis or dexterity issues. You'll also notice that the ink docking station is raised and so it will not get on your work surface. The ink tool has a nice squared base and it's very well balanced all the way. So if you need to set your ink face up for some reason, you can just set it right there to the side. The ink docking station wipes clean very easily with a damp cloth or with a baby wipe. If you have some stubborn ink, you can always use ink cleaner or an alcohol spray as well. So you can see once that's clean, I can change ink pads and go to a different color or different ink without contaminating the previous one. So when you're finished, just pop on the lid and pull the ink away from the tool and you're good to go. It's flat for storage. You don't have the tool permanently affixed. It's temporary and you can change ink pads very easily. Again, we do have the refill strips available if you need additional strips for additional ink pads. You can see how nicely this holds the ink. When you're done, pop your lid on, pull it away from the ink navigator tool, and you're good to go. This is great for your ink storage because it doesn't add any bulk. 
So there is the brand new Multiplicity Crafts Ink Navigator Kit. What do you guys think? Most importantly, where do you get it? I am pleased to be teaming up with the Not Too Shabby Shop, and they will be carrying my product on their online store. Just visit the web address to buy this one-of-a-kind tool. So I want to thank each of you for watching, and I want to know in the comments, what do you think of the Ink Navigator Kit? I'd love to know. Thank you so much, and have a great day.